Hello everyone, today we're taking a look at Dungeons and Dragons Honor Among Thieves. What the hell are we looking at these? These are old. Well, if you look, they're kind of cheap. Oh, they're a cheapskate? No, I'm not a cheapskate. It's my good doppelganger that's a cheapskate. Oh yeah, that is right. So, I mean, what's the big deal with these? Well, I guess we gotta take a look, don't we? Oh, all right, yeah. Dungeons and Dragons, woo! And here they are out of the pack. And boy, I'm looking at them, kind of struggling for why these were $25. Well, it's probably likeness rights. No. No, I don't think it was. I mean, no. First up, let's take a look at Hugh Grant, who looks nothing like Hugh Grant. Now, one thing I'm going to point out, if you look at the jacket, it looks like somebody put gold on it and then painted brown over it lightly. I don't understand. That is a weird look. And even looking at press pictures of this jacket and looking on the box itself, that's an odd choice. I don't know what to say. He also comes with a crossbow and a goblet. What's a goblet for? I guess so he can get drunk. Could that be the Holy Grail? I doubt it. Yeah, me too. His articulation is kind of there. Um, he does have double jointed arms. But they get tend to get stuck and don't really do much. Uh, the legs are double jointed, but then again, the coat gets in the way, so it's kind of pointless. The fact that this comes with two accessories and most of the articulation isn't hit is hindered. You really gotta wonder. What's that lovely Q Grant head? You know, people want that for customs. No, no, I don't think they will. So, uh, what are you thinking on this one? Stink burger? Wow. I guess we are equal. We're really going down to the low ends. I mean, this is pretty disappointing. Well, I suppose. I mean, you know, it's not what I expected either. All right, let's move on to Holga and boy, that does not look like Anna Lucia at all. Huh? Oh? And Lucia, her character on Lost. Oh wait, was that the girl after she died? Sawyer just went. Eh, I screwed her. Well, um, yeah, that that did happen. Okay, I remember her now. Why? Because Sawyer said he screwed her. I don't know. She did a great performance. I mean, she was really good. Okay. So one really confounding fact with this is, I'm not sure if this is supposed to be two handles or what. I have a lot of trouble getting the handle to come out of the axe, so I'm not sure that's it or not. Well, that's weird. Yeah, it is. I'm not quite sure what to make of it. And besides that, she has a knife. I could sw I don't even remember her using a knife in the movie. It looks like a stone knife, though. Wow, that, that is odd. Yeah, I don't remember her using a stone knife, but she might have. I mean, I'll tell you the truth. I watched the movie, and I can't even remember a damn thing about it. Really? Yeah, what, what is it? Now, making it even worse on the head is that the hair isn't even the right hairstyle. Well, that's just ridiculous, why not? I don't know, I, I don't understand this Dungeons & Dragons line anyway. No one does, no one does. Setting them side by side, they kind of scale in with Action Force classified level figures. Not great, but not bad. 
Yeah, um... I kind of see why this line didn't go anywhere. Yeah, I mean, you count this, and the cartoon figures, I mean, this is really a huge letdown. I mean, the possibility on Hogan's okay, but when you add into the fact that, you know, her peg holes don't fit most battle stands, which seems to be a big omission, she, you really have a hard time posing her in anything but a static pose. I mean, I have to say it honestly, this is not a good set of, set of action figures. I can see why these didn't sell. I, I get about as much disappointment out of these as I did from the cartoon ones, even though I had my heart set on those cartoon ones. These are not that much better. Um, the articulation isn't there. There's some decent sculpting, but the likenesses are way off. And... Yeah, that might have been a likeness right issue, but if you're already walking into that, why even go there at all? I mean, was it the guys that work on Black Series that worked on this? It might have been. I don't really know. And I mean, it's really surprising when you consider, eh, you know, for Beast, they did kind of cool. Really? What kind of Beast did they do? Eh! Oh god, I've been transported into another dimension! Dude, we changed the backdrop. Backdrop? You lied to the people who watch this? Uh, this is the way it's always been done. I can't believe you lied to the audience. Dude, there's a cat behind you. Ah! Dude, it's okay, you have the ultimate plot armor. Start! I mean, are you just going to stand over there and talk about the figure? Yep. Okay, I guess I'll go with you. Okay, the Displacer Beast? He's okay. I have to admit, the tentacles are kind of heavy. And looking at him, I think they're a bit oversized. Oh my god, they're bigger than his head. Yeah, exactly. Looking through some art of a Displacer Beast? Uh, no, that's not right. And I even looked at stills from the movie. Yeah, this isn't exactly what the Displacer Beast looks like. I'm confused. Well, as am I. This toy is okay, though. You have to get it balanced. And that is a tough part. The tentacles are heavy. And even though he has six legs, it does not make it easier. Ironically enough, he does have toe beams. Ah, oh, cute. He's got a good articulated jaw, and his articulation really isn't that bad, but doing anything dynamic, again with that balance issue, it's going to be very difficult. The paint is really good on this one. I really dig it. The touch of purple in the, in the hue is pretty spot on. I really do like it. My only gripe would be just the way the articulation and the Tentacles really kind of throw off the whole dynamic of the figure. He even looks a little emaciated. Which is a trait of the Splacer Beast. Now I noticed in some of the press photos they had him with his tentacles to the back. I don't recall ever seeing art like that before, but I'm sure maybe it exists somewhere. But the point being is the tentacles have pretty broad range of motion. Broad range, that's always a good thing. Is that all you got to contribute? Yeah, I'm staying way the hell away from this one. You got an aversion to cat? Feline phobia, is that a thing? I suppose it is now. And that's our look at Dungeons and Dragons. It's just the Honor Among Thieves? Well, everything we looked at it was from an Honor Among Thieves line. So yeah, I guess it was. Okay, pretty cool. But I hate fantasy. I'm surprised to hear you say that. I mean, you're technically a fantasy character yourself. No, I'm not. I was built from technology. You need to watch the new cartoon. 
Okay, fair enough. I haven't watched a new cartoon. Hey, there's a cat. And that will wrap up this video. Take care, guys. Oh, no, wait. I'm evil. I forgot. Go fall off a cliff. Later. <laughs>